Master Kenway. Master Kenway. Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle it. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives. I thought... Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say. But I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might see? Hold a moment. I need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. This accursed city will be the death of me. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but... You seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. Well, that was interesting. It is feared that armed hostilities between French and British forces on the frontier... What do you need, my friend? for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not cry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Uh, William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well. But he saw the order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause. And you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. <laughs> 